uh, my name actually means uh, the one to achieve greatness by healing the land. David Kemp could be a billionaire in the next few months. He's going to revolutionize the world by flipping our economy on its head. This is the story of his life struggles that made him destined to do so. Originally, my parents are what we call the Hakka people, and it's a tribe, an indigenous tribe in China. We're known as the revolutionaries. We caused a lot of revolutions. Our family has been really affected by poverty. And my brother, uh, oldest brother, died from uh, starvation. You can imagine you know, diving from uh, starving to death. So, uh, also, my father was so hungry uh, that he wanted to escape from China. So he strapped a bicycle tire, this bicycle tire floats, right, uh, onto himself to, uh, to swim from China to Macau, and he, he made it, uh, and he, then he went by boat to Hong Kong. His parents won a visa to go to Canada, where David was raised. They had lower class jobs and invested all their hopes and dreams in their children. My parents taught me the importance of uh, justice, you know, and also the integrity to be a um, person with uh, your word is your honor. They actually put all their hopes into their children. And, uh, most immigrant families do. When David grew up, his raw ambition and talent led him to creating one of the first ever energy drink companies. But three tragic events changed his life forever. The first, his dad passing away. The second, 9-11. The third, a plane crash where multiple members of his family died. Upon visiting their house, David was struck by how frozen in time life seemed. Half finished laundry, half finished meals. And actually, when I saw half-finished things, I said, do I really want to lead, uh, lead a life of things half-finished? Of things that I really, my dreams I wanted to do. And that, uh, the day after 9-11, which I'm in New York now, is the day I actually, I set out on my journey, humanitarian journey. Over the years, David became a close friend and trusted ally of the Anishinaabe tribal nation, protecting them from various threats to their land and way of life. David, they say you're very smart, you know, um, and can you help us with something uh, to protect the land, but also create the, uh, bring us out of poverty. The major vision, it's called uh, the Tree of Life vision. In his vision, David was walking down a concrete street where there were four trees, and a voice guided him to each one. A black one, a yellow one, a white one. But none of them were the tree of life. And then he saw it. And there was a red tree that was glowing light, and I knew that was the tree of life for sure. This tree was uprooted. It was uprooted two feet off the ground and strapped to a black lamppost by plastic straps, like a police, you know, that they use handcuff people and the tree and not only uh, was it two feet off the ground was, uh, that they couldn't replant his roots they were trying to kill the tree of life uh, they had paved over the, uh, the, the soil with cement also to make sure that there was no soil that could be planted in Jesus so they were really trying to kill the, the future generations and um, the voice uh, just changes at the uh, uh, David uh, cut down the straps and bring home the, the tree of life to replant it. So, so that's the vision uh, I'm trying to fulfill, to bring the nations together to, uh, uh, to replant the tree of life. This brings us to David's revolution. He's invented a brand new cryptocurrency called the Earth Dollar, and the value of the currency is based on the health of our planet. Instead of creating value by extracting resources out of our land, it's creating value by putting resources back in. Planting new trees, cleaning up our rivers, repopulating our oceans. The healthier our planet, the more valuable your Earth dollar is. The Earth is backing the Earth dollar. That's why I got Earth dollar. So the trees, the water, the grass, animals, and us, the us were backing the Earth dollar, the value. So let's say in that area that's protected, we call a World Heritage Sanctuary, has a million trees. Uh, but if we plant another million trees, we double the wealth of the, of the people using the Earth Dollar because it's add more assets back in Earth Dollar. So if the water is polluted, but if we clean it up, it becomes more valuable. 
then we have now incentive to, uh, to restore the earth. Hi, I'm David, founder of the Earth Dollar. Rally on!